In this video, you'll learn how to use Google Meet with virtual backgrounds, and we'll do that right now. Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Brian White, and welcome back to Video Zeus. On this channel, we make weekly tutorials to help you spend less time making more videos. If that sounds like you, then smash that subscribe button now. Whether you want to cheer up coworkers in your next virtual meeting or look professional for an upcoming business call, virtual backgrounds can help you improve the way you work from home in your next meeting. Now, up until this moment, the virtual backgrounds have not been available to use during meetings on Google Meet until now. What I'm going to do is show you how to use virtual backgrounds in Google Meet along with a few other tools to help us do so. Okay, so we're inside our Google Meet, and as you can observe by clicking through some of these menus here, there is no button to enable a virtual background inside Meet. So in order to make it happen, we need to install a plugin to enable this sidebar over here to become available, which allows us to apply a variety of visual effects directly to our video feed. A few of my favorite visual effects are the background blur, which blurs anything behind you, hiding anything behind you, but also achieving that blurry background look commonly found when using DSLR cameras. If you had a late night, try applying these sunglasses to hide your tired eyes. And certainly, you have the ability to add a virtual background with or without a green screen. I'll repeat, you do not need a green screen to make this work although green screens will produce better results. When you first upload an image with this tool, the image itself will be flipped. Not so bad if you've got the beach behind you, but not so good if you're using a branded background with text on the screen or your logo. So let me first show you how to flip an image before we upload it as our virtual background. To do this, jump over to a content creation tool called Kapwing and create your free account. This is super easy and super quick. Once inside Kapwing, click on New Project, then click on Start with Studio, then click on Start with a blank canvas. Once inside the Studio tool, let's click up here on Upload, and again on Click to Upload to locate our image file. Once your file is uploaded, first click on the Crop button over here to ensure we're working in a 16 by 9 resolution. If not, Click on that to select an area of the image to use. Then click Done Cropping. Now to flip the image, hover over here under Rotate. We'll click this icon here to do a flip of the image. Okay, so now we've got our flipped image. Next, click on the Publish button up here and Kapwing will go to work and process your image for download. Once it's done, simply click on the Download button to save it to your desktop. Now, let's jump back into our Google Meet, hover over the sidebar here, and scroll down to the Upload Background button. Click that and upload your image. Once it's uploaded, simply click on the box here to place a check mark to turn on the effect, and then click on the virtual button right here to use the virtual background without a green screen. And there you go. You've got a virtual background inside your Google Meet. Should you need help locating backgrounds or perhaps you're using virtual backgrounds for business, I have a gig on Fiverr where I'll design a branded background with your logo to enhance the meeting a little further. I'll place a link to that gig in the description below. Okay, so now you're wondering, what plugin am I using for this virtual background effect to take place inside Google Meet? The plugin is a Chrome extension called Visual Effects for Google Meet. Simply install this extension onto your Chrome browser right up here, and when inside a Google Meet, the icon becomes active. Now, it's important to note that this extension is safe. Their privacy policy says the extension will never save, collect, or do anything else with your data. And whether you've been using Zoom or Google Meet, you'll want to watch this video to discover the best backgrounds to use as virtual backgrounds. Once again, thanks for watching Video Zeus, where we help you spend less time making more videos.